So the work that I do encompasses looking at histories and unwritten histories or whitewashed histories in different cultures around the world, including Australia. When I travel to other countries, I carry my culture with me as an Aboriginal artist. Uh, my mum's family are from northwest Queensland, Aboriginal language group Wanyi, and my father's side is Scottish English side, uh, Australian. Uh, One Square Mile is a very interesting history in that it was an exclusion zone uh, within Brisbane itself, between Boundary Street and South Brisbane and going across to Boundary Street in Spring Hill. Aboriginal people were herded out of the area um, within the exclusion zone, the One Square Mile, between sunset and sunrise. Police would actually ride around with a whip and whip anybody who was actually within the exclusion zone, within the sort of the central area who weren't supposed to be there. I hope that people that went to the One Square Mile exhibition were suitably horrified by the conscience at the time to exclude people um, on the basis of colour and race. But I also hope they were enlightened by this aspect of the history of Brisbane, and not just Brisbane, but all of the country towns and other cities throughout Australia and to understand that we need to know about the past in order to go forward. The boundary markers have since been um, purchased and located at St Stephen's Cathedral, which I think is very fitting and very interesting for a place of Christianity to then sort of take this as part of their and our shared history and actually place the markers as a historical reminder of a very painful episode within Brisbane's history. Yes, I do think museums can change lives and you won't always know that at the time, but it's what stays in your memory that you'll take with you and at some point it will open up. Walter Benjamin talks about smell drowning a hundred years in the memories that it recalls and I think that museums have that same facility and possibility of people seeing something, experiencing something, and it will bring back their own memories and it will also erupt later and they'll remember it if they're somewhere else and they suddenly see something which pulls that memory forward.